Hello everyone, very good morning. You are watching my YouTube channel CloudX India. So guys, in the CloudX India, I'm preparing the video related to the cloud, okay, and uploading on daily basis, okay. So please do subscribe my channel to watch AWS, Azure, OCI related topics, okay, and also on premises AD and VMware, okay. So currently AWS and Azure is ongoing, okay, and you can see so many videos, interesting things related cloud, you can enjoy, okay, you can in, like uh, feel free to uh, let me know if you really want to learn new things, okay, so that I can prepare for you. And also guys, do subscribe and share with your friend, since this is e-learning, you can enjoy the e-learning, free training, okay? And just spread all of your network, okay, with all of your friends. Okay, guys, so in today's session, what I'm going to cover, this is the second topic of Azure AD, and today I'll talk what is Active Directory authentication, okay? So let's not wait and begin. So how does Azure AD authenticate? So guys, as you know, in on-premises, if it is your on-premises Active Directory, so on-premises AD uses the Kerberos authentication, right? And uh, if Kerberos doesn't work, so it uses the anti-LM. So if you want to know how Kerberos work, right? How does it authenticate? How many, like, uh, what is the exact process of authentication right let me know do comment in comment section bar i'll prepare a video for you okay so let's not wait and start how does it authenticate okay and uh, but the main agenda as i discussed in my last video right so why we move to the active directory as your active directory right so as i said so there are so many applications nowadays which organization are using okay but all those application you cannot authenticate from the active directory okay suppose you have a office 365 you have a sharepoint you have a uh, aws and you have a splunk cloud or there are lots of like uh, third party uh, applications right each applications has their uh, attributes their authentication method right so all those application you cannot directly with your on premises ad if you cannot integrate it's a very simple you cannot log in with your on premises active directory users to those application right so single sign on purpose will defeat here okay so how to do this how to achieve it so there are so many like uh, third party identity provider come into the market right which say which give you the options to integrate your active directory your like extend your on premises ad over the like uh, cloud environment and uh, authenticate like with same users which you have in on premises with different different uh, like uh, cloud vendor or you can say the application right like uh, aws cloud if you want to authenticate or log in on aws with the same id which you are using in your on premises login in your system on like your laptop right or your file server ssm server and you want to use the same account to log in on your aws you want to log in on to the splunk office 365 okay and sharepoint or any other third party application right so in this situation in this condition you have to use the azure ad or any third party service provider okay so since azure ad is uh, very powerful and uh, like hot things nowadays in the market right but uh, how can you do this so if you want to really see like the process from the beginning so please watch my previous video you will get to know more about it okay and in today's topic i am going to discuss the about active directory authentication process okay so the first thing you have to uh, like uh, do the sync you have to uh, like synchronize your on premises active directory right so how how can you do this so the first thing your azure ad the first thing first come in mind right so if you are going to use azure ad right so will you create user here or will you like uh, replicate your on premises users over the active directory so there are two things so there are uh, multiple companies right uh, which is a small level companies which is using cloud only 
cloud based uh, user only right they do not have on premises ad but uh, in mid or bigger organization they have they do have on premises ad and they are replicating the on premises active directory users over the azure ad and using the same user to log in on different like on premises system okay file server sccm okay windows from in controller okay as well as over office 365 okay aws okay so for that uh, so we'll talk about how does it work right so how can you extend your on premises active directory okay over the azure ad so what do you have to do you have to use azure ad connect okay azure ad connect is a very light tool which you can install on any windows server and then once you in install it replicate the users over the azure ad and you can define here right what object you want to replicate object means what oh you suppose there is some OU you have created right and you want to replicate those OU only you do not want to expose or replicate all the users so you have to set the like policy in your azure ad connect right and you can define which uh, ou will replicate which you will not replicate so it's up to you so suppose i have set some policy here and i replicate only those users which i want to like uh, let them use the azure ad benefit and log in on multiple different cloud applications okay so first thing you have to do this and the second thing suppose there are multiple applications office 365 you have aws you have okay sharepoint you have and there are so many other applications right so as of now uh, azure active practice providing more than uh, 3000 3316 enterprise application right which you can integrate with your azure active directory okay so for this i'll repeat again guys so go and watch my previous video okay how to integrate uh, like your application with your azure ready so it requires some metadata so you can uh, go and watch the, my previous video to get the better information about it okay so since uh, there are multiple cloud vendor okay and now let's see suppose you have uh, replicated your object over the azure ad okay and you have also integrated some application registered application with your azure active directory and now you want to log in with this user okay to access these applications so how does it work let's see so before going in detail guys so what i have to uh, what we have to focus here uh, there are uh, like uh, once you log into any applications right so it authenticate as you already authenticates right there are some authentication mechanism we'll talk about how does it authenticate right whether the azure ready will authenticate or it send the request to the on premises or will it use the federation service okay so we'll talk about this one okay so let's see so suppose this is your office 365 okay and uh, this is azure ready you have integrated your office 365 in your azure ready and this user belong to the azure active directory and now this user want to access this application office 365 okay so let's see how does it work so before going in authentication process we have to see hybrid like how does it authenticate right and what uh, uh like on what basis like what authentication mechanism does it use right whether it directly authenticate your user or send back to the on-premises okay so once you have on-premises and azure ready your user is replicating from on-premises to azure ready so that scenario is known as hybrid identity and authentication okay and in hybrid identity and authentication there are three different way okay so it depends like what authentication mechanism you are going to use it's uh, depend on uh, your organization level okay your existing infrastructure level complexity cost there are so many things so many factors like uh, depend or uh, can uh, decide the organization to like use the scenario okay so let's see the first thing is azure active directory password has synchronization so in azure active directory password has synchronization what it does so it is very simple way of authentication 
okay so in this situation what happens so your on premises ad will like replicate send the password on premises users password over the azure ad okay and azure ad whenever there is any login request come suppose a user want to access office 365 and connect to the office 365 office 365 refer to the azure ad azure ad will once user pitch in the username and password right then azure ad will not send the request to the on premises for the authentication okay in the first options azure ad will authenticate that user okay it never rely or depend on the on premises it verify the user's credential from its own database and the second scenario is azure ad pass through authentication in the pass through authentication what happened so there is a, some agent you have to configure in your on premises right apart from the active directory so suppose you configure two agent or one agent okay so what happened azure ad sent the request to on premises uh, that agent okay and agent will connect to your active directory okay so suppose uh, okay give me a scenario here so suppose this is a user here okay and this is trying to access any application and when pitch in the credential username password so it reads to the azure ad azure ad suppose you have set up some agent in your on premises okay and this is your active directory domain controller so azure ad will connect to your agent which you have deployed in on premises and said hey this user is trying to access and he's supplied the username this and password this then what does it do it connect to your on premises active directory this agent connect to your on premises active directory and verify whether the credential what he has supplied is correct or not if it is matching then it is okay and it get receive confirmation and then send back the confirmation to azure ad and then azure ad let this user login so this is the one of another scenario guys so you can use any of these two okay and mostly since the cloud is not illusion nowadays okay everyone is aware of it so they most of the organization are mainly they are using the first options okay not this options because the agent is uh, mediator here right in case the agent goes down so authentication like uh, it hamper the authentication process okay and this is uh, the second scenario and the third one is the federated authentication in the federated authentication what happens so azure ad hands off the authentication process to a separate trusted authentication system which is uh, adfs so what happens so you have to create adfs which work as a mediator or proxy between your azure ad and on premises okay so whenever there is a request come it connect to like hands off to on premises okay adfs or any like uh, other adfs third party okay and then it will coordinate with your on premises active directory get the information okay it send the information confirmation to this and then it will confirm okay this is successful like uh, users credential is valid and then user can log in successfully okay so i am taking the example of first one in authentication process and so how does it work okay guys so let's see so this is scenario okay <clears throat> this uh, sorry guys so this user is replicated here and uh, user logged in on is its own system okay and trying to access office 365 so what happened the first it sent a request access request to office 365 office 365 doesn't know about this user whenever this request come to it so office 365 sent a query back to the azure ad so since there is a login uh, like uh, login uh, url configured inside the application so what happened it will send a request back to the azure ad and say hey there is a user trying to access okay so what happened azure ad say users pitch in your credential here so what happened so first of all you have to Authenticate like provide the follow the authentication process as you already give the instruction to the uh, users, right? So it a pop up appeared here. So put the credential, username, user supply the user's name there, 
and then supply the password so once user supply username and password azure ad will verify okay username is suppose mark and credential whatever the credential it is so once it validate and if user is providing the valid credential then what happened azure ad sent a access token after successful login a access token and one refresh token so access token will this user send this access token to the office 365 and say this is my access token provided by azure ad and i want to access the application then office 365 what does it do it allow this application allow this user to access now user can use it send email and whatever the features of office 365 user can process accordingly okay and the refresh token is uh, so this is a refresh token basically uh, since uh, uh, access token is not permanent okay so in between if it expire right so after a certain time of period right when it reach to its like life so what happened this uh, refresh token this user send a refresh token back to the azure active directory say hey hi is uh, azure ready my password is uh, or my session is getting expired so please renew the session so once it sends the request to the azure ready what azure ready does it again release a access token and refresh token back to the users and what happened user use the same things go back to the office 365 hey i got a new access token please don't expire my session and then in this way what happens so user will continuously work and uh, in this way like as you already like provide the authentication mechanism provide the access token okay refresh token okay so guys that is a very simple and straightforward process okay and very short video so i hope you enjoy it okay and guys please do not forget to uh, subscribe my channel and share your feedback okay i'll uh, definitely it i'll appreciate your uh, feedback okay thanks guys thanks for watching and please do not uh, forget to share this video with your friend okay thank you